A mosque in Germany where 9-11 terrorists met and were recruited has been shut down. German authorities believe the prayer house was again being used as a meeting place for Islamic radicals. Now, what's happening here in the States, meantime, is both interesting and controversial. Organized opposition to mosques and Islamic centers being built coast to coast. The most heated debate has been in New York City near Ground Zero. Nani Darwish is president of former Muslims United, also founder of Arabs for Israel. Ziad Ramadan is with the New York Council on Islamic Relations. I want to thank both of you for being with us. And Nani, you had a, a provocative quote, I thought, in the New York Times, and I want to read it. It says, a mosque is not just a place for worship. It's a place where war is started, where command to do jihad start, where incitements against non-Muslims occur. It's a place where ammunition was stored. Do you believe that all mosques are like this and thus that new mosques being, thrilled are a potential, being built are a potential threat? The mosques in the Middle East are traditionally not just places for worship. They are political institutions, they are educational institutions, they curse non-Muslims in it, they spread anti-Semitism in it, they spread hate speech, and it's an educational institution, and uh, uh, it was involved in, in many uh, attacks. Uh, even today in Iraq, the Sunnis and the Shiites are blowing each other's mosques, and they throw rocks from the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Jews who are praying at the bottom. Uh, there is a lot of cursing in mosques, uh, and it's uh, it's on the internet. Everybody can see that. And, and is that the reason uh, that you've uh, been one of the people who are against the, the mosque being built in Tennessee? Yes, I'm against uh, this frenzy of mosque building that's financed by the same people who are have financing jihad, and the jihad zakat is the money what the Muslim uh, people are ordered to pay zakat. Ziad, is this, this, is this a frenzy of mosque building that is used, being going to be used to foment jihad? Um, this kind of useless propaganda that Mr. Darwish has been propagating across our country is absolutely, it, it's, it's the epitome of extremism that she is trying to say that, you know, Muslims represent in this country, which is ridiculous. You know, Islam is uh, mainstream and moderate across the world. They repudiate uh, all acts of violence against humanity. And what she's trying to say, and she's made a living, frankly, of going on stages of hate organizations and trying to propagate, um, you know, falsities and misinformation about Islam. That's her business. Uh, that is not true. Uh, first of all, when I used to be a Muslim, the first mosque I went to, they told me don't assimilate in America. And now those mosques that are popping up everywhere, is including the 9-11 mosque, they're saying we're here for integration, tolerance, and community support. I don't believe that's their purpose. I believe no. this is a frenzy of, yeah. of building mosques. Well, well, Nani, let me uh, ask you this. Nani, Nani, if I can for a second, let me yes. ask you this, because every Everywhere that, that I've been able to check to see where these uh, controversies are happening, they're happening in California, they're happening in Wisconsin, and, and as we said, in Tennessee and New York. It, when you really get down to it, the number of, of supporters have outnumbered opponents, and the supporters include priests, ministers, rabbis, and, and a lot of religious leaders see this as an attack on relig religious freedom. What do you say to them? You know, can I, can I weigh in here for I a second? Am, I, I, uh, first of all, uh, give, give, let me finish. Uh, 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 we are former Muslims. We are condemned to death under Islamic law. And those imams are for Sharia law, the same law that condemns us to death. They do not want to repudiate the laws of Sharia that condemns us to death. We sent them all uh, pledges, freedom pledges from former Muslims United, asking them to repudiate the laws of Islam that condemned us to death. They, nobody signed it. These, these uh, imams... Can I wait in here for a second? Yes, let me get Ziyad. We are out of time. Yeah. Zia, let me ask you specifically about yeah. the New York Mosque, because that's got... Or, or Islamic Center, because that's gotten the most amount of publicity. Right. And there are people who are concerned about it, even the Anti-Defamation League, who says, look, at, at the very least, this is insensitive because it's so close to ground zero. Are there people who have legitimate concerns, as the Anti-Defamation League does have in New York? Actually, they don't. And Jewish organizations and Jews across the country 
have, have been offended by the statements of Mr. Foxman at the Anti-Defamation League. He's getting scrutiny, he's getting criticism from around the world because of his comments, because his job is to preserve the constitutional rights of all Americans instead of attacking his fellow Americans and their constitutional rights. Ms. Uh, Ms. Darwish is on LoonWatch.com because of fibbing. She tells stories all the time, she fabricates information in order to push her ultra-right concept. She's an extreme. Men She's an extremist. Who are, trying, who are trying to fool the American people okay. who don't want to stand up she, for she our fabricates rights information. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we in have America. to. We're, we're out of time. We have to let it go at that. But this is really uh, uh, not a debate that's going to go away. So I want to thank both of you uh, for helping us to uh, talk about this today. Thank you.